man there's a lot of things i feel like people are missing on this whole deal with abbott having texas do them quote unquote enhanced security checks man really a lot of what they were doing was level one dot inspections and they were finally holding these mexican cross-border uh trucking carriers to the same standards that the trucks running on the roads in the u.s from the u.s and canada were already being held to you know since 2011 they've been able to come up to the u.s out of mexico and basically go wherever whereas before they were restricted to, I believe, like within 75 miles of the border. Now, you go down on the border, down around Laredo and that, and you'll see some of the most raggediest junk on the road. I've seen truck drivers coming out of Mexico, man, open the door to climb out of the truck, and the truck don't even have a seat in it, man. It's got a dang five-gallon bucket in there turned upside down for a seat, you know? And no telling what the brakes is like or tires. I mean, just ragged equipment. Now, there are some decent-sized companies that run up here from down there, and they run pretty good equipment. You know, like, for one, for instance, one company that runs from all over the U.S. from down there called Palos Garza. They run white freight liners with a kind of like a navy blue racing stripe. Uh, sets of racing stripes, you know, and I'll say something for them, man, you know, just from what I see going down the road They seem to have equipment on par with everybody else, you know what I mean? But a lot of these companies that do this cross-border stuff down there That's crying, you know, we're crossing the border three or four times a day having to do these inspections Well, hell, y'all are the ones running the ragged-ass equipment that needs to be getting checked into Y'all hadn't really been being inspected and checked and stuff for years and now, you know, y'all done got a free pass basically since 2011. And now all of a sudden you're being held to the same standard and you're upset about it. And then the Americans are upset about it. Some of them too, which makes no sense because this unsafe raggedy equipment is on the road. Well, your family, man. Pull your head out of your ass. You know, if, if somebody's gonna come in from Mexico or Canada and run on the roads in the United States, they should be held to the same standards as the U.S. carriers. The same way if I ran a load into Canada or whatever or into Mexico, which I wouldn't do, but if I did, I'd be held to that standard.